that out. Uh, certainly very impressed with Virginia and uh, they kind of took our spirit. Um, you know, we couldn't get into any offensive rhythm and I thought it really affected us defensively and affected our fight, which was disappointing. We uh, played discouraged, which a lot of people do against them, but I thought our young guys were. Um, so uh, you were hoping you could be more competitive, uh, but we don't have much time to dwell on it with what's happening on Monday night in this league. So we got to try and pick up and be more competitive on Monday. How disheartening is it when it happens like right from the jump? You can't score, you can't get a stop. We just couldn't. Yeah, it was really, it was it was really disappointing. And and again, then you have some uh, some younger guys that have never experienced this before, and it's really it, it's 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 a demoralizing. And uh, so um, you know, it's one of those where. You, you, we got to probably compete in practice a little bit more tomorrow. Go after it and fight a little bit in practice, see if we can get that back before these guys come to town. You mentioned day. practice. That, um, What's that? You mentioned practice. Is there, is there a consistency that starts to develop with young guys in practice that foretells it in the games? And, and are you seeing that, or is it yeah. just... Um, it, it, are they yeah. just completely different animals? No, no, no. I think I think your practice habits definitely carry over. There's no question about it. I mean, they, they, they do. Um, this group overall has been really focused to jump in there and practice and compete. Now, we haven't gone very long because of where we are with numbers, and we're trying to keep, you know, guys. You know, it's, it's great to go and compete tomorrow and go after a little bit because after something like this, Guys want to get it out of their system, so they want to compete. But I don't want Johnny Mooney competing. <laughs> you know, I don't want, I don't want him flying around tomorrow. So maybe we'll sit on the sideline when the other guys go. But there, there is carryover. There's, there's no question. And, and uh, um, you know, our, our young guys are trained. I mean, the, the freshmen have had good. You know, got to remember this. This group's been practicing since June. You know, they've been together since June with the foreign tour. And uh, Friday was practice number 68. Uh, so they've been in, been in the gym a lot. But uh, we need to get some reps competing tomorrow because we, we didn't, we couldn't get to that today. And, and Virginia had a lot to do with it. I can't say enough about how impressed I am with them. They can win the national championship. They are men that have won together and are polished. And, and we are the exact opposite right now, searching and trying to build it. And so that was a perfect storm today that hit us right between the eyes. Mike, you, you said you played discouraged and they took away your fight, and yet in the second half you did go on a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean that I, I'm sitting there going at times like, you know, I, I, that was great. Um, I, I just thought we gave up some drives. Even coming out of that, they, you know, they, Tony called right, timeout. Right. We got it at 12. And then we gave up like three drives. And I'm just thinking like, well, you know, and, and I didn't yell. I talked to him in the huddle. I said, fellas, we came in. We, we put a little game pressure on them. Our crowd was, we finally gave our crowd something to cheer about. I feel bad. They were there in full force. And, you know, we're going to try and give them more to cheer about on Monday. They come back. But then we just gave up some drives. Now, the dude's driving. One's going to be the 13th pick in the draft, you know, and Hunter, you know, he's zipping by us. He's, he's a man. And, uh, you know, Jerome and, uh, you know, I, I look out there and, and all of a sudden Ty Jerome's taking Dane Goodwin to the hole. And I go, uh, okay, that's a tough matchup right now. And, and so our young guys just got to go through it and experience it and, you know, and, and try and grow from it. And we got to try and help them to do that.